Joyan! <laughs> nice. Let's go with question number nine. And it's how Tantra can heal different dysfunctions or emptiness into people's sexual inner fire. Okay, so now we are talking about shadows, right? Dysfunctions or uh, shadows in, in the field of sexual energy. So what Tantra does or what Tantric sex does is that it really help us, helps us um, connect on a profound level. And by doing that, it's going to you know, clear the insecurities, clear the, the sense of loss or the, less, the sense of uh, disconnection that you might have with somebody. For instance, sometimes you are having sex with your partner and then you notice that your partner is not really present. And so you're having sex, but then it doesn't really give you full satisfaction. You still feel a little bit empty after that. Or you feel like, uh, like there is not enough intentionality or there isn't enough understanding about what makes you happy or not happy. Your partner might be touching you in ways that you go like, oh, that's, that feels awkward or it feels painful or, you know, depending on the penetration, depending on the angle. So what happens is, is when you start engaging into, into tantric sex, what is going to happen is that you add precisely this dimension of, of intentionality. And, um, you know, it creates a, a sense of union and connection. Uh, with yourself and with your partner and with the field of Tantra that radically changes and heals also the, you know, the past patterns. Mm -hmm. Because uh, how do you heal something? Well, of course, you have to release maybe the potential trauma that is there, but also you create a reality which is different than what you experienced mm -hmm. before. And so the moment you know how to create that reality and how to establish it, and uh, it's not just something that happens once by coincidence, it's really something that you know how to design. It's a bit like if you design a house and you are an architect, you know the patterns, you know what you need. You need a roof, you need the walls, you need the electricity, the pumps, uh, the, the water, all that, you know, it needs to be coherent within the field. And so for relationships and lovemaking, you can, you can consciously be the designers of your uh, sexual experience. And um, so that by itself is going to create a field that is really strong to have, uh, yeah, to have powerful experiences. And that creates naturally a healing. But of course, sometimes you can focus a little bit more into accessing the places where there might be, for instance, trauma, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is softening and entering into much more healing spaces <coughs> that can involve, uh, you know, sensual and erotic exchange with your partner. You know, for instance, sometimes in the penetration itself, there might be emotions that come to the surface mm -hmm. and allowing this vast field of potential and, and uh, energies and shadows to, to come to the surface without blocking them, without interrupting them, but allowing and holding space uh, for your partner to, to access these experiences. So we enter now into the field of more what we can call sexual healing, right, as well, and sexual shadows, and it's really a vast field. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely helps to, um, to be intentional and use different uh, tantric techniques to approach that. Perfect. 